Is Meghan Markle about to publicly and officially declare war against Princess Catherine? <sighs> Will she ever learn? Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alternerd, your nerdy alternative, filling in for Andy today. And yeah, when I saw this article, I was like, Megzy, are you ever going to learn? Every single time she has gone against the royal family publicly, it's done no favours for her. If anything, it's exposed her further. More people have found out who she really is. And yeah, as a consequence, her popularity points go further down, 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 down into the drain. Nevertheless, though, her rumours are still around that Megzy's going to be doing a memoir of her own. And in this memoir, Apparently, she could take aim at Kate Middleton, Princess Catherine, uh, making Megzi out to be bitter AF. Yes. So the rumours are swirling that Megzi is going to be doing a memoir of her own, all because of the success that Hazza had earlier on this year with his own memoir, Spare, otherwise known as Wah. And we all know that, yep, yeah, our Megzi definitely wants a piece of that money pie uh, doing a memoir all on a lonesome, right? However, according to royal expert and author Phil Dampier, if Megzi was to do her own memoir, then it's likely that Princess Catherine would become a target. Now, he told The Sun, quote, everyone will be fascinated to hear Meghan's take on her relationship with Kate, whether she was hostile or welcomed her from the start. Yeah, I'll be fascinated to hear Megzi's take on it. Absolutely. To D. Bunk the whole lot, as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, the uh, source goes on to say she probably thought she should have got equal billing and didn't seem to appreciate from the start that she and Harry were the B team and not on the same level as William and Kate. Now, I do believe that's probably what she thought. However, the royal family is absolutely hierarchical and she was never going to get equal footing and equal bill billing to Prince William and Princess Catherine because they're higher up the royal food chain. That's just fact for her to think that she was going to get equal billing is like she's out of her damn mind if that was the case um but goes on to say the sauce she will probably talk about comparisons that were made in the press between them and will come across as bitter yeah there were comparisons between megzi and princess catherine of course i bet she won't talk about uh the many times in the press that were favorable towards our megzi yeah, I bet that's left out of the upcoming rumoured memoir, right? Uh, meanwhile, the expert added that if it, this is the case, it's unlikely that Hazza and Megzi would be able to have any sort of relationship with Prince William and Princess Catherine in the future, which, to be fair, I think that ship has sailed anyway a long time ago. Uh, but this expert explains, quote, it really would be the last straw, and I doubt William and Kate would ever talk to Harry again. I doubt she will directly criticise the late Queen as she knows how unpopular that will be. Well, at least if that's the case, Megzi does have have a couple of brain cells between a luggles, right? But the thing is, what she also has to understand is criticizing any member of the royal family is extremely unpopular when she's doing it because we debunk her every single time she pretty much does that. Um, but again, the expert then carries on saying, uh, but she could reveal private conversations and that would be very troubling for the king, uh, the queen, uh, in, in this instance, you know, Queen Camilla, uh, and the prince and princess of Wales. Because, yeah, we all know that Prince Hazza uh, divulged private conversations in his memoir, Spare. So, you know, what's stopping Megzi from doing the same? Yep, but do you know what? Megzi has already shown herself to be bitter AF when it comes to Princess Catherine. Uh, and this is based on, you know, things that Megzi has said publicly about Princess Catherine in the first place. Um, so here we go. You know, everything that Megzi has said about Princess Catherine, I'm going to just pick out a couple here from this Hello article. Um, so in one of the episodes of the Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan, uh, she says, quote, the first time she met Kate, she seemed to suggest some 
initial awkwardness, saying, I met her for the first time. I think we went for dinner. I remember I was in ripped jeans and barefoot. I was a hugger. I've always been a hugger. I didn't realize that was jarring for a lot of Brits. Um, added, uh, I started to understand that the formality on the outside carried through on the inside, that there is a forward facing way of being. And then you close the door. I can relax now, but that formality carries over on both sides. And that was surprising to me. First and foremost, I mean, dress how you want to dress. Don't get me wrong, but you're meeting the future princess of Wales and you're going to be there barefoot in ripped jeans. Uh, personally for me, I would have made more of an effort. All right. But here... Uh, she's essentially turning around, in my opinion, because Percy Thay or whatever, and saying, Princess Catherine's not a hugger. She's cold. She's cold. You see, I was welcoming, you know, hugging and, you know, uh, throwing away the formalities, this, that, and the other. But Princess Catherine wasn't a hugger, was still formal, this, that, and the other. I was warm. I was accepting. I was open arms. Princess Catherine, though, cold, and none of the open arms welcome whatsoever. Yeah, our Megs is bitter AF when it comes to Princess Catherine. Um, here's the other one, the big, big major one, uh, which is all about Princess Charlotte's flower girl dress at Megsy and Hazard's wedding, right? And it was really a case of, you know, the reports were that Megsy made Princess Catherine cry um, amongst all of this palaver, right? But Megsy turns around and says, nope, it's actually the other way around. Around, saying the narrative with Kay, it didn't happen. A few days before the wedding, she was upset about flower girl dresses and it made me cry. It really hurt my feelings. It was a really hard week of the wedding and she was upset about something, but she owned it and she apologised. She bought me flowers and a note apologising and she did what I would do if I knew that I hurt someone to just take accountability for it. Um, firstly... She's all about other people taking accountability, but where's her accountability for the people that she's hurt? I don't know. A couple of people spring to mind from her. I don't know. Her own damn family, right? Oh, my goodness. She's such a freaking hypocrite. But here, she's turning around and she's saying, no, Princess Catherine made me cry. I mean, to be fair, that hem on the flower girl dresses... I would freaking cry if my daughter had to be dressed in a flower girl dress that wasn't even finished. I mean, come on, right? But for Megsy to turn around and say, nope, it was Princess Catherine that made me cry again. It's taking aim at Princess Catherine, turning around and saying, opinion because Percy Theo, whatever, Princess Catherine's mean. She's nasty. She's not as kind and wonderful and as lovely as everyone thinks on the outside because behind the scenes, she's cruel and she made me cry. Mm. Yeah. I think Megsy's totally bitter AF that she didn't get equal billing when it comes to her and Princess Catherine when she thought she would. She completely either rejected or misunderstood the hierarchy in the royal family. And yeah, I would certainly imagine that if Megsy does release this long rumored memoir, that when she does talk about Princess Catherine in this memoir, Oh, yeah. She'll take aim at her, as she has done, you know, in her previous comments. And as far as I'm concerned, when she does take aim at Princess Catherine in this rumoured memoir, Megsy's going to look bitter AF. And it's not going to do any favours for her whatsoever having Princess Catherine in her sights. With that being said, guys, if you appreciated this video and you want more, believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to Popcorn Palace, turn that notification bell to all, like this video and comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. How bitter do you think Megsy is when it comes to Princess Catherine? Also as well, go one step further, join today and become Become either a prince, princess, king or queen and get exclusive content from myself and Andy on this channel. With that being said, thank you so, so much for tuning into this video. I really appreciate all your faces. And until the next time, you guys, laters.